Hi, in this video, I'd like to share with you guys how to create and use GitHub Personal Access Token. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. In details, I will help you understand what is a Personal Access Token or part, how to create part for your GitHub account, how to use part in Git clone command, and how to use part for Git repo in Eclipse IDE. So, what is GitHub a Personal Access Token? You know. Paths are an alternative to using password authentication. A path provides more granular access in terms of scopes or permissions. Uh, paths uh, can only be used for HTTPS Git operations, and a path can have exploration. And note that from uh, August the 13, 2021, GitHub requires path when using GitHub API or command line. And why GitHub Personal Access Token should be used? Uh, because it provides the following security benefits. Uh, unique tokens are specific to GitHub and can be generated per use or per device. Uh, revocable tokens can be individually revoked at any time. Limited tokens can be narrowly scoped to allow only the access necessary for the use case. And random tokens are not subject to dictionary or brute force attempts. Now, I'd like to show you how to create a new GitHub Personal Access Token. Firstly, ensure that you have signed in your GitHub account. And at the upper right corner here, click the user icon. And you can see the menu settings below here. And on the left side, you can see the menu developer settings. OK, here we go. And click uh, Personal Access Tokens. And click the button. Generate new token. Okay, and enter some note or meaningful description for this new person access token. Uh, for example, repo access token. And you can select the expiration time for this uh, token. The default is uh, 30 days. And select the scopes or permissions. Uh, usually, uh, we want to we ask uh, programmers want to uh, access to the code repositories. So choose this uh, repo scope, and you can see there are many scopes or permissions. That means uh, personal access token uh, provides a more granular access, and then click the button generate a token. Here we go. We got a new personal access token created, and this is a, a token code, which is similar to password. And know that uh, you have to uh, make a copy of this uh, personal access token and keep it in a secure place because you won't be able to see this uh, code again. Now let's try to clone a repository from github.com in command line. So type this uh, command git clone and followed by the repository URL like this https github.com slash in my username and the repository name here and enter. And you see the dialog connect to GitHub, and it allows uh, us to enter a personal access token here. So you can uh, copy this uh, personal access token here, and paste into the dialog, click sign in. OK, it is cloning the project done. Now I'd like to show you how to clone a project from github.com and uh, provide the personal access token in command line. Git clone https github.com shop me. And when you see this, uh, connect to github dialog, close it. And then you have to enter username here. And uh, in the password uh, prompt here, enter the personal access token. So copy the token here and paste here and enter. And you see, it is 
cloning the project successfully. Suppose that you have a Java project in Eclipse based IDE, such as in this uh, Spring Tools with IDE, you see. And this uh, project is connected to a remote repository on github.com. You can see the context menu for Git operations here. And uh, Git uh, directory here. And now you have to update uh, the Git credential in this project to use a personal access token instead of password so you need to open the git uh, perspective by clicking on this git uh, icon at the upper right corner or go to the menu window perspective open perspective as a and choose git open and in the git repository view expand the uh, repository and uh, expand the remote node here origin and you can see um, uh, the upstream and uh, downstream push stream and fetch stream here and to change the credential for the push operation you can right click on the push stream and click the context menu change credentials here and enter the uh, personal access token in the password field here so copy the personal access token paste here and do the same for the fetch here change credential and enter the personal access token into the password field save that's it how to update uh, credential uh, in the Eclipse IDE for a personal access token Okay, so far I have shared with you how to create and use GitHub Personal Access Token in the command line and Eclipse IDE. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.